Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm joining in again with Nelly and Ruth Designs Crossword Challenge. Uh, yep, I did a page in my glue book uh, for the first go at the crossword challenge and today I'm going to make a tag. So this is just a piece of fairly thick scrapbook paper. It was double sided so I had a bit of a Oh, which side will I use? But I think I'm going to use this side because I'm going to add um, a little bit of texture paste before I put my crossword onto this, um, my crossword piece uh, onto this. I'm going to do a little bit on the background, but I want to see where my crossword pieces are going to go before I decide where to put my little bit of texture paste. So I've got my crossword pieces handy to the side of me here. Um, I want to put that bit there and I'm going to put that bit there. Has anyone played the game of Tetris before where you fill in the bricks and the squares are falling down and you've got to fill in on the puzzle? That's what I'm doing. I'm doing a Tetris game with the crossword pieces. How cool is that? So I want to get a little bit of texture paste here and here. I don't want to have to stick the crossword pieces on to the texture paste because I'm not sure just how well they would glue on. So I want to just make sure that I'm going to do this bit and this, maybe this bit up here, maybe, no, just this bit and this bit. So I think maybe what I'll do, and I don't want to glue them on first because I'm going to add a little bit of this concentrated watercolour to where the texture paste is going to go. So I don't want it to roll on and spread onto my crossword pieces. I want them to be clean and clear of any mixed media that I do underneath. So I probably could do the texture paste. This is Dela Rowney texture paste and um, my less than clean but should still work um, spreader. And I'm just going to put that about there and just randomly just use a little bit of this just can't really see where my crossword is but hopefully I'm missing it Good. So we'll just set that there just now and we'll just carefully get rid of that excess and I think what we'll do is we'll turn this around to get this bit up here. Okay. So about there, and add another little, little drop of this. Not too much, I don't want too much globby on, globbing, is that a word? Just, I think the scalpel is that a scalpel? No, it's not a scalpel. What's that? <laughs> I've lost the word. I think it's beyond saving. Put it over there, and then I'll just get that away. 
wipe. I'll need to put that in soapy water. But that'll do for now. Right. Okay. So we need to let that dry. But in the meantime, I can stamp the word that I'm going to use, or the words that I'm going to use on here. I'm going to use my Versafine Clear Morning Mist. This is a nice dark grey and I thought it would be nice against the greyishness, greyish greenishness of the tag, which I'm going to leave aside to let that paste dry and stamp using my old typewriter alphabet stamps. And let's see, will we use uppercase or lowercase? Let's see the I'm going to stamp game on. And these, as luck would have it, fit these boxes perfectly. Yeah, I think I'm going to move to lowercase just so that I can do my O of on in uppercase and then you'll see that it's a different word. And I know that the different words should maybe go in another set of boxes. Although sometimes you get crossword answers that's the same in the same set of squares, don't you? <sighs> right, game and a big O. Sometimes these are tricky to get out of the box. Sometimes what I do is I leave one out and it gives me some wiggle room. Game, oh no, that was nearly an, why did I have an E in my hand? It's an N. That was a close shave. There. Game on. Right. Now, I think maybe I will need to go and dry off my texture paste. Because it's still going to be, that's not nearly enough time for it. But it is looking quite cool. I used my long stamp, that's the stamp, eh, not stamp, punch, a slot punch for the top and I've got, that's not going to go back in there just now, just leave it out. I've got a nice piece of sari silk for the top which I've picked out because it matches the green and hopefully that will be nice and I'll just tie it with a bit of twine but in the meantime I'm going to go I think and give this a blast with the heat gun okay that's nice and dry now so I think we'll add some ink I'll just put this down right I've got this is Art Philosophy Concentrated Watercolour in Moss and it's got a little um, puppette, I want to say, a little, hmm. <laughs> anyway, a little squishy thing that sucks up the ink and squishes it back out. This is water. And this is where we cross our fingers and hope for the best that we can get some nice, maybe, cool effects. Of course, it's not watercolour card. This is just normal scrapbooky card, so it might not um, spread so well as you would hope. Maybe it just needs a wee, a wee dab more just to cover that. 
a little bit more, maybe. Oh, that looks nice now. That's... I won't try to get some drips. If I wanted, if I didn't want drips, it would do it, and now it's not doing it. But I think that's probably enough. What do you think? That's quite cool, isn't it? I think that'll do it. I think maybe I need to give it another blast. Yes, I'm going to give it another blast. Right, so there we are, nice and dry. Let's get this stuck on and hope that it still fits, yes. So, I've got my three in one, because I'm just not so sure that the glue stick would do the trick with it being um, maybe a wee bit of mixed media underneath. So we'll give it a, a go with this. Right, and I've got my other pieces here. I want that just above there. And then I want that one there. And my little bit there. Good. So if you want to join in, it's a hashtag on Instagram. It's twenty twenty. It's hashtag twenty twenty three. C W challenge. I'm sure that's it. Oh, I should have looked it up first before I. No, I'm sure that's it. If that's not it, I'll leave a comment in my description box. But I'm sure that that's it. Yeah. And in the game you would need to knock that one over to go down, this one will go straight down and then you'll need to turn this one round, move it over and have it down. That's how the game would work, I believe. I'm not a big gamer, but I do know a little bit about Tetris. I think it's a wee game that everybody has played at some point. There we are. Okay, so I want to ink the edges and I've got a little Versa Magic Key Lime. Mmm, that sounds nice. And we'll just add this to the edge. Oh, there's a dog outside out in the park. We have a park just next to us and the walk the dogs. Here we are. That's just a little bit of something. And finishing off, I have my piece of sari silk. I'm just going to tie in a knot with some twine. I'm just wondering if I want to do some stitching round the round the edge. I wonder if the machine would cope with that. Do you know? I don't think I will. 
Do you know, I think I will use my, where's my pen? I think I will just do this. Hmm, now, I don't want to go over my crossword. No. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Cut a bit of twine. And just tie a knot round there. Underneath there. Or maybe even a bow. I think I'm going to take a little bit off of that once it's tied. It's all a bit bendy. <sighs> Just rough up the edge there. Oh, I've got lots of little hairy bits. <laughs> there's, there's a sentence I didn't think I'd say today. Lots of little hairy bits. Whoops, there's my water down. Right, let's have a look. What do we think? Yeah, I'm liking that. It's a bit, it's gotten a bit grubby on the back, but never mind. Um, yeah. I think I like that. Okay, that's the challenge uh, to use a crossword. Um, it's Nellie and Ruth Designs. Go and have a look at Barbie's channel. She's done some brilliant ones with, um, you know, the <coughs> sewing pattern ladies. Uh, they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So thanks for joining me today and if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.